To analyze the data that we have just transformed with macro 1, we can either just use the existing copy of that file in memory in Expedata, or we can take advantage of the fact that the macro 1 has automatically saved a modified version of the file with all of the processed and transformed data inside. The process data file is saved under the same root name but with an underline and suffix m. So let's go ahead and open it. Here it is. Now let's look at the macros that are available and choose one to run on the data. We click on View. Macro 2 generates detailed data for each metabolic reading taken in a multiplex system. So let's go ahead and choose that. We double click on it. And as you can see, that selects macro 2. Now the actual output of the macro is going to be sent into Expedator's internal spreadsheet. Let's view the spreadsheet by clicking on View and Spreadsheet. And here is the Expedator spreadsheet. Now let's go ahead and run Macro 2. We click on the Play button. And as you can see, it's extracting, in this case, the date and time and other data from mass 1, v.02, v.co2, the RQ, then from mass 2, and what have you. This macro extracts a great deal of information. I'm going to go ahead and stop the macro. As you can see, that's easy to do. And I want to show you how easy it is to transfer data from the spreadsheet. You can either choose to save the spreadsheet as a comma delimited or tab delimited file. Or, if you wish to, you can simply send the contents of the spreadsheet straight into Excel by clicking on Edit and then Export to Excel. And here is uh, the information in an Excel spreadsheet. That ends this lesson. The next lesson will show you a couple of more advanced features of the program.